Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to use the export function into Google Sheets. So you need to log into your Google Drive account, which I've done up here. So I'm logged into my Google Drive account and I've created a new blank document. If I go into that new black doc that blank document, there it is. So I'm going to copy the URL of that blank document. I'm going to go into the customer panel and I'm going to paste it there. So that's the URL of the blank Google Sheets document that is in there. So make sure you've created it from within Google Drive. You can't just go to uh, Google Sheets and create it that way. You have to get, log into a Google Drive account and do it from there. And then you have to be logged into Chrome with the same Google Drive account. Otherwise it won't work. So you need to make sure you've got the same Google Drive account logged in here and logged in at Chrome here. And if you haven't, then you can just right click and log out and log into the correct account. So I've copied that into there and then I can click save. So let's assume that I'm buying this deal from Argos. Okay, and let's pretend this is only £20. So this is my source URL. So I'm going to copy that as well. And I'm going to paste that in here. You don't have to paste it in there, that's entirely up to you. But if you want to paste your source URL there, you can do. And then all you do is you click copy to my buy sheet. And it will come up telling you that it's copied to your sheet. And if we go into the buy sheet, there it is. There is all the information copied into your buy sheet. Now, if you thought that was good enough, it, we go a stage further. Because obviously that's just copying all the information into a sheet. Uh, you can obviously give it your own headings and such like, whatever you want to do, but that just copies all the information from Biobot Pro straight into your Google Drive sheet, your Google Sheets. However, what if you've already got your own buy sheet and you don't want it in this order that it's automatically put through? Well, you can change the order as well. So let's say you've already got your own deal sheet and you've already got your headings in the order that you want your headings, okay? So you don't want them in the just A to Z in the way we've done it. You want them in the order that you want them in. Okay, so what you do, so you copy the URL. You go back into your customer panel. We take out that URL and we put in that URL instead. And you can save that. And then what you want to do is customize it. So if we go up to customize here, you can see it's just done a at the moment A to V, but shortly it will be A to Z because we're adding some more. But at the moment, it's A to V, so it's just done in alphabetical order. So what if I'm not going to change them all about because that will just waste your time. But what if we wanted to change the order? So we could put B in here, and we could put A in here, and you could go down and do that to all of these and change them all about to whatever column you want it to match in your Google Sheet. Right, so today I'm just going to change these top two around, so product name and ASIN. So we're going to have ASIN coming first and the product name coming second. So we click OK and save it. OK, and if I then click it, copy to my buy sheet, it'll come up, copy to your sheet, and if we have a look, it swaps them over. So it's put the ASIN first as I asked it to, and then it's put the product name. Whereas when it was at the beginning, it was the product name first and then the ASIN. And you can change that with all of them and copy them all, change them all about in here to whatever order and whatever, you, however you want them, whatever order you'd like them in and whatever you find uh, the most helpful. If you leave them blank, uh, Google Drive copies it in with a dash, which is nothing to do with Firebot Pro, that's a Google Drive thing. So you're better just to put the information in there. So you might as well just have all the information in one place. But that's how you do it. That's how you can customise it specifically to suit your deal sheet. And you can copy it in. If you're having problems uh, copying into your Google Sheet, the chances are you have not got the same account as your Google Drive and the same account logged in at Chrome. As long as you make sure they match, it works absolutely perfectly. So that is a quick overview of how the Google Sheets works. Uh, amazing feature. Love it to pieces. If you've got any questions, feel free to email us, info at